While spinach is considered a superfood, what you pair it with and how you consume it is crucial for your health. Today, we will unveil the hidden dangers of eating spinach with the wrong foods. Recent studies have shown that the high oxalate content in spinach can interact negatively with other dietary components, leading to potential health risks. This issue is especially concerning for individuals predisposed to kidney stones or bone density problems. Understanding these interactions is essential to maximizing the health benefits of spinach while minimizing potential risks. Furthermore, certain food combinations can hinder the absorption of vital nutrients from spinach, potentially leading to deficiencies and other health complications. By being aware of these combinations, you can make more informed dietary choices that support your overall well-being. In addition, it's important to consider the preparation methods of spinach, as cooking techniques can influence its nutritional profile and its interactions with other foods. Let's dive deeper into these aspects to ensure you're getting the most out of this nutritious leafy green. Before we dive into the details, we would like to quick remind you, this content is for informational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. Please consult a healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet or health routine, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions or are taking any medication. Benefits of Spinach Before we delve into the foods you should avoid combining with spinach, let's discuss its numerous benefits. Spinach is packed with essential nutrients including vitamins A, C, and K, folate, iron, and calcium. It's also rich in antioxidants such as beta-carotene and lutein, which help combat oxidative stress and inflammation. Scientific studies have demonstrated that regular consumption of spinach can contribute to improved cardiovascular health, enhanced eye health, and a stronger immune system. Its high fiber content aids in digestion, and its low calorie count makes it an excellent choice for weight management. Now, with these benefits in mind, it's crucial to understand how to maximize them by avoiding certain food combinations. Spinach also plays a significant role in maintaining healthy skin and hair due to its high vitamin A content. Vitamin A is essential for the production of sebum, which keeps hair moisturized and contributes to the growth of all bodily tissues, including skin and hair. Furthermore, the magnesium in spinach is vital for energy metabolism and maintaining muscle and nerve function. By understanding these benefits, you can better appreciate the importance of including spinach in your diet while being mindful of how you consume it. Who should avoid taking spinach? Certain individuals should be particularly cautious about their spinach consumption. Those with a history of kidney stones should be aware that spinach is high in oxalates, which can contribute to stone formation. A study published in the Journal of Urology found that diets high in oxalates can increase the risk of kidney stone development. People with thyroid issues should also moderate their spinach intake, as it contains goitrogens that can interfere with thyroid function. Additionally, individuals on blood thinners should monitor their spinach consumption due to its high vitamin K content, which can affect blood clotting. By understanding these risks, you can make more informed choices about including spinach in your diet. Individuals with gastrointestinal issues such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, may experience discomfort after consuming spinach. The high fiber content, while beneficial for most, can cause bloating, gas, and cramping in sensitive individuals. Consulting a healthcare provider can help determine if spinach is suitable for those with digestive concerns. Moreover, people with certain autoimmune conditions might need to be cautious with their spinach intake. Spinach contains compounds that can potentially stimulate the immune system, which might exacerbate symptoms in those with autoimmune diseases. It's essential for individuals with these conditions to seek medical advice to ensure that their diet supports their health needs. Hidden Dangers of Eating Spinach with Certain Foods While spinach is undoubtedly a nutritional powerhouse, it's important to be aware of certain combinations that can negate its benefits or even pose health risks. 
Consuming spinach with specific foods can interfere with nutrient absorption or exacerbate health issues such as kidney stones and bone problems. Flan Dairy Products In addition to calcium binding, the presence of oxalates in spinach can lead to the formation of calcium oxalate crystals, which can contribute to the development of kidney stones. This is particularly concerning for individuals who are already prone to kidney stones, as the combination of spinach and dairy can exacerbate their condition. Furthermore, the interaction between oxalates and calcium can reduce the overall availability of calcium in your diet. This can be especially problematic for individuals who rely on dairy products as their primary source of calcium, potentially leading to deficiencies that can affect bone health over time. It's also worth noting that cooking methods can influence the oxalate content in spinach. Boiling spinach can reduce its oxalate levels by leaching them into the cooking water. Therefore, if you plan to consume spinach with dairy, consider boiling the spinach first to minimize the risk of calcium binding and enhance nutrient absorption. 2. High Oxalate Foods Foods like beets, nuts, and chocolate, when eaten with spinach, can increase oxalate levels, raising the risk of kidney stones. This heightened oxalate concentration can overwhelm the kidney's ability to excrete it, resulting in the formation of oxalate crystals and, consequently, kidney stones. Individuals with a history of kidney stones or those at risk should be particularly mindful of their oxalate intake from these combined sources. Moreover, the interaction of oxalates from multiple food sources can interfere with the absorption of other essential minerals, such as magnesium and zinc. These minerals are crucial for various bodily functions, including immune response and enzyme activity. By consuming high oxalate foods together, you may inadvertently reduce the bioavailability of these important nutrients, potentially leading to deficiencies over time. To mitigate these risks, it's advisable to balance your diet by incorporating low oxalate foods and ensuring adequate hydration. Drinking plenty of water can help flush oxalates out of the system, reducing the likelihood of crystal formation. Additionally, consuming calcium-rich foods separately from high oxalate foods can help bind oxalates in the gut, preventing their absorption and subsequent impact on kidney health. 3. Iron-Rich Foods while spinach is high in iron, it also contains compounds that inhibit iron absorption. Avoid consuming it with iron supplements or iron-rich foods to ensure proper iron uptake. Spinach contains non-heme iron, which is not as easily absorbed by the body as heme iron found in animal products. This can be particularly problematic for individuals with iron deficiency anemia, as they may not receive the full benefit of the iron content in spinach. Additionally, Consuming spinach with other iron-rich plant foods such as lentils, beans, and fortified cereals can compound the issue. The inhibitors present in spinach can affect the iron absorption from these foods as well, potentially leading to an overall decrease in iron uptake from your diet. This is why it's important to strategically plan your meals to maximize iron absorption. One way to enhance iron absorption from spinach is to pair it with foods high in vitamin C, such as citrus fruits, tomatoes, and bell peppers. Vitamin C can counteract the inhibitory effects of oxalates and phytates, improving the bioavailability of non-heme iron. By combining spinach with these vitamin C-rich foods, you can boost iron absorption and make the most of the nutritional benefits of your meals. 4. Vitamin C Supplements While vitamin C is essential for overall health and aids in the absorption of iron, Excessive intake of vitamin C can have unintended consequences when combined with high oxalate foods like spinach. When consumed in large amounts, vitamin C can be metabolized into oxalate in the body. This increased oxalate load can exacerbate the risk of kidney stone formation, particularly in individuals predisposed to this condition. Furthermore, studies have shown that high doses of vitamin C can increase the urinary excretion of oxalates, this means that even if the oxalates from spinach and other foods are not initially problematic, the conversion of excess vitamin C to oxalate can tip the balance leading to crystal formation in the kidneys. Therefore, it is crucial to monitor and manage vitamin C intake, especially if you regularly consume spinach and other oxalate-rich foods. To reduce these risks, it is advisable to obtain vitamin C primarily from natural food sources, 
rather than high-dose supplements. Foods such as oranges, strawberries, and broccoli provide sufficient vitamin C for daily needs without the excessive amounts that can lead to oxalate conversion. If you require vitamin C supplements, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine an appropriate dosage that won't interfere with your body's oxalate balance. Frequently Asked Questions Let's address some common questions about spinach consumption. Is it safe to eat spinach every day? Yes, but moderation is key. While spinach is nutritious, excessive consumption can lead to oxalate buildup, which may cause kidney stones. It's also important to consider variety in your diet to ensure you are getting a broad spectrum of nutrients. Relying solely on spinach for your vegetable intake might result in missing out on other valuable nutrients found in different vegetables. Rotating your greens, such as incorporating kale, arugula, and Swiss chard, can provide a more balanced nutritional profile and reduce the risk of oxalate-related issues. Additionally, individual tolerance to oxalates can vary. Some people might be more prone to developing kidney stones than others. Paying attention to your body's response and consulting with a healthcare provider can help determine the appropriate amount of spinach for your specific dietary needs and health conditions. This personalized approach ensures that you can enjoy the benefits of spinach without compromising your health. Is spinach better cooked or raw? Both forms have benefits. Cooking spinach reduces its oxalate content, making nutrients more bioavailable, but raw spinach retains more vitamins and minerals. When spinach is cooked, it also becomes easier to digest and can help increase the absorption of certain nutrients such as calcium and iron. The heat breaks down the cell walls of the plant, which can enhance the availability of these minerals. For individuals with sensitive digestive systems or those prone to kidney stones, cooked spinach might be a better option to minimize oxalate intake and improve nutrient absorption. On the other hand, consuming raw spinach provides higher levels of vitamin C, folate, and potassium, which can be diminished during the cooking process. Raw spinach can be a great addition to salads and smoothies, providing a fresh and crisp texture along with its nutrient-rich profile. Balancing both raw and cooked spinach in your diet allows you to enjoy the diverse benefits of this leafy green, ensuring you receive a wide range of nutrients while managing oxalate levels effectively. Is two cups of spinach a day too much? For most people, two cups is safe and healthy. However, those at risk for kidney stones or with thyroid issues should consult a healthcare provider. Consuming two cups of spinach daily can provide a significant boost of essential nutrients, such as iron, vitamin K, and magnesium. This amount can help meet daily nutritional requirements and support overall health, including bone health, blood clotting, and muscle function. Including spinach in a balanced diet alongside a variety of other vegetables can enhance its health benefits and contribute to a well-rounded nutritional intake. Nevertheless, it's crucial to be mindful of the potential cumulative effects of consuming large quantities of high oxalate foods like spinach. For individuals with a predisposition to kidney stones, spreading spinach consumption throughout the week rather than eating it every day might be a safer approach. What happens when we eat spinach at night? Eating spinach at night is generally fine, but its high fiber content might cause digestive discomfort for some people. For those who have a sensitive digestive system, consuming high fiber foods like spinach close to bedtime may lead to bloating, gas, or stomach cramps. These symptoms can potentially disrupt sleep and lead to discomfort. To avoid this, it's advisable to eat spinach a few hours before bedtime, giving your body ample time to digest it properly. On the positive side, spinach is rich in magnesium, a mineral known for its role in promoting relaxation and improving sleep quality. Including spinach in your evening meal can contribute to better sleep by helping to relax muscles and calm the nervous system. Balancing your overall meal composition and timing can help you enjoy the benefits of spinach without experiencing digestive discomfort at night. What happens to your body when you start eating spinach? Incorporating spinach into your diet can improve digestion, boost immune function, and provide essential nutrients for overall health. 
as you start consuming spinach regularly, you may notice an improvement in your skin health due to its high vitamin A content, which is essential for skin cell production and repair. The antioxidants in spinach, such as beta-carotene and vitamin E, help combat oxidative stress and can contribute to a more youthful and radiant complexion. Moreover, spinach's rich iron content can enhance energy levels and re We hope this video has shed light on the hidden dangers of consuming spinach with certain foods and how to enjoy its benefits safely. If you found this information helpful, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content. Thank you for watching.